Hi, my name is Ellen. My mother is American, my father is Norwegian, and I've grown up between, in, and around Norway. This is my friend Ali. He's a cartoonist. He is from Iran and now lives in Norway. When Ali was 20, he had to leave his country for his own safety. For many people, moving to a new country is a question of survival. On the map of the world, humans have drawn lines that represent borders. These borders open like doors to some people, but close shut like barriers to others. Leaving home and saying goodbye to the familiar can be difficult. Sometimes finding a new one is even harder. While Ali and I have very different stories of moving, when we talk about the word home, we share a similar understanding of what it means. For us, it isn't always a place, it's a feeling of belonging. Sometimes it feels like we're never really at home anywhere. Other times, it feels like we have many homes at once. Not knowing where home is and understanding why we face different challenges is one of the reasons I'm studying immigration and culture. I want to find out about the many ways people change and grow as they move from country to country, whether by choice or not. Immigration seems like a big word we see often. Really though, immigration is a part of you and me and everyone you see. There is a migration story that is a part of you and we believe they deserve to be heard. Much like the movement of people, storytelling is as old as human history. Through words, visuals and sounds, we have been using stories to share what we know and express how we feel. In our project, Our Migration History, we document stories of immigrants living in Norway. We also want to examine the power of stories and uncover the blind spots. Simply put, our research is about stories. Our stories are powerful and much like a fingerprint, they are uniquely our own. But sometimes it's difficult to tell a story only with words. This is why we created this photography project. A picture is worth a thousand words. We all have objects, places or people that make us think of a different time and place than the one we live in now. Perhaps there is something that you didn't necessarily associate with home until you left it. What makes you feel a sense of belonging? It can be as small as a receipt or as big as a building. Take a picture and share it with us. We want to reveal the history, identities, emotions and memories embedded in our surroundings. We also have developed a survey with the help of over 120 high school students. If you are interested in participating, the survey is only a click away in the link provided below. Every immigrant has their own lived experience. We want people to find comfort in shared experiences. This is a space created by you and for you. We want you to hear our stories, but above all, we want to hear your story.